Okay, in 13.2, which is the last section, we're talking about uh, consumer surplus. So, a definition. If you have x with a bar over it, p with a bar over it, and it's a point on the graph, I went ahead and wrote this. So the graph of the price demand equation is p is equal to d of x for the product, then the consumer surplus at the price level p with a bar on top is then the consumer, uh, I think that's supposed to say surplus and not perplus, surplus, consumer surplus at the price level p bar is given by the equation cs is equal to, and cs means consumer surplus, uh, is the integral between 0 and x bar of d of x minus p bar dx. Okay? Well, wait, wait, I'm not quite done with that. Which is the area between p is equal to p bar from x is equal to 0 to x is equal to x bar. Okay, so here is our first example. We are to find the consumer's surplus at a price level of four dollars for the price demand equation for the price demand equation given at p is equal to d of x which is equal to 20 minus 0 0.05 x okay i'm going to break this down into steps so the first step is to find x with a bar given that price level which is p bar is equal to 4 okay so that tells me p bar is equal to 20 minus 0 0.05 x and we're going to solve for x bar uh, so I get just a little bit of algebra. At a price point of 4, I'm going to go ahead and subtract, subtract, subtract 20 from both sides. And then we're going to divide by negative 0 0.05. That gives me, and I don't think it's approximate, I think it's a given, um, 320. No, it's supposed to be another zero. Uh, 3,200, I bet. Looks like I kind of erased it. Okay, step two is to graph this thing. Now, it does, this isn't really a, a big, accurate graph. We're just going to kind of sketch this thing, okay? With uh, not x and y, it's x and p. So... Uh, x, I forgot the bar right here on all of these, it's an x bar. So at 3200 on the x axis, and if you know your algebra at all up here, uh, you know that it's crossing over uh, the p axis at 20, but when x is 0, so I'm going to put, remove that, 20 right here, so what we're crossing here and we're touching the axis here, but we also, at 4 here, we have um, P, P prime, or, or the price level. So I'm going to draw kind of a line here, and there's going to be a line connecting those two. I don't really care when uh, we're negative X or negative P. I don't care about any of that. So what we're trying to find is the area in... So that's our graph. Okay, step three is we are to find consumer surplus
which is cs is equal to uh, the integral from 0 to x with a bar of the function d of x minus the price level p bar uh, dx. Okay, we're going to plug that in. We have from 0 to, let me check if that's 3200 or 32,000 because sometimes I'm writing 32 and sometimes I'm writing 32,000 and my calculation says it's 3200. I just didn't change it on some of the other things. So this should be 320. Sorry about that. Uh, and this is to 320 uh, of 20 minus 0 0.5x minus 4 dx. That gives us 16x minus 0 0.5 over 2 times x squared. And we're going to evaluate that between 0 and 320. That gives us 5,120 uh, when x is 320, and no, I just did a first term, second term, term not when x, because when x is 0, uh, I don't have anything. So I plugged in 320 to the first term and got 5,120, and then I plugged 320 into the second term, and I got 2,560. And that gave me an overall answer of 2,560. So that basically says the total savings to consumers who are willing to pay a higher price for the product is $2,560. Okay, I went ahead and pre-wrote this because I have time. So the producer's surplus is defined as if I have a point x with a bar p over uh, with a bar is a point on the graph of the price supply equation p is equal to s of x then the producer surplus which is ps at a price level p bar is given by the equation ps is equal to an integral between 0 and an x bar of p bar minus 5 of x dx which is the area between p is equal to p bar and p of s of x from when x is equal to 0 to 0 with the bar. Okay, so I'm going to see if I could squeeze before I, I scroll up just a little bit and get our example in here. We are to find the producer surplus. Uh, at a price level of $20 for the price supply equation given by P is equal to S of X, which is equal to 2 plus 0 0.0002x squared. So again, we're going to split it up into three steps, or it's probably going to ask you three steps on my math lab. So step one is to find, oops, find x bar. The supply when price p bar is equal to 20 at a price level of 20. Okay, so that gives me the equation. Well, they gave me this already, I think. P bar is equal to 2 plus 0 0.0002 um, x 
bar squared because it says uh, from x is equal to zero to x is equal to x bar. Okay, we know the price point. Price point is 20. So I'm just plugging that in so I can solve for x bar. Okay, so move the two over, I get 18. Uh, is equal to 0 0.0002 x bar squared and then divide by 0 0.0002. So I get x bar squared is equal to 90,000 and x bar is equal to 300. Now because, uh, what you, okay, you normally when we take an, a square root of both sides, remember the plus or minus, we're not going to kind of do the minus side because we can't do the plus or minus since x bar has to be greater than or equal to zero. We're talking about money. We don't want to go in the negative. Okay, anyway, step two. We're just, again, to sketch the graph. Okay, again, we have x bar side and the p bar side and the p bar side we have a price point of 20 uh, at a price level of uh, price level of 300 so no p is price x was surplus anyway at a surplus level of 300 so we're going to kind of draw a line for both of those and you also know that it's going to cross the y-axis or I'm sorry the p-axis at 2 which is way down here so this guy is a curve and this is this is kind of a point on here this kind of curve that's going to curve up like this and you're looking for the area in here okay step three is to find the producer surplus. Basically the shaded area. So producer's surplus is the integral between 0 and 300 of the argument 20 minus in parentheses, don't forget to put this in parentheses, parentheses 2 plus 0 0.0002x squared dx. Okay, this is the integral from 0 to 300. Let's simplify this. I get 18 minus 0 0.002x squared dx. Ready to take the derivative. I get 18x minus 0 0.0002 divided by 3 times x squared. We are going to evaluate this between 0 and 300. When I do, the first term is 5400 minus the second term which is 1800 for a value of 3600. So basically that says that the total gain to producers Where, what is that supposed to be? Who are willing to supply units at a lower price? is $3,600.